Hi guys, welcome back to the Steve in the Alien Anime Studio tutorial series. My name is Chad Trofgerman and I will be your guide to the world of drawing and animation and all of the anime studio goodness that you can handle. So to get started with this particular lesson, we will need to create a road for our project. And what we're going to do is basically take the shots that we did last time and make it so that it's more of a side angle or a profile shot of the road. This means we can bring in many of the assets that we used for the first shot, making this particular shot a little bit easier and a little bit quicker to make. So to get started, make sure that you have a new document open and you can have your first layer labeled road because that'll be the first thing we will draw out. And what we need to do is we'll need to set this color of this road the same color we did for the angle shot. So what we can do is bring in that road from our previous project file. So go to File, Import, Anime Studio Object, and then bring in that um, project file and select the road for your object you want to bring in and click OK. Now we can take the eyedropper tool and select that color for the road and then we can actually just do away with that layer then because that's all we really need. So now taking your add point tool and making sure you're set to sharp corners as well as having all of your fill and stroke settings set we will start right about here and just make a straight line like this and then come down over and up. You now have a road for your shot. Now let's add some lines to the road and again we'll do the same thing where we bring in the lines from the previous project file so that we can copy the colors. So I'll use my eyedropper and select the colors and now that that is taken care of, I can get rid of that layer. And you could also, too, import these into your library and do it that way as well. So once you've done that, make a new layer, and we'll name it Lines. And taking your Add Points tool with sharp corners turned on, we'll start right about here and draw out a line. Go like that and come back like this. And now what we could do is copy and paste the other two lines for the road. So we can just select this object, go to edit, copy or control C or command C if you're on a Mac and then edit paste or control V and then with the select tool we can just nudge this over and now do the same for the third line on our road now we can make some minor adjustments just to give the lines a little bit of variety Okay, and we might even want to shrink them a little bit like this. Okay, so next let's draw the green ground for the environment. We can make a new layer and name it ground and put it underneath the road. And we'll come in here and import our ground from the previous shot and we can just import that color 
and delete the ground. And then come over here and draw out the ground. And I might even want to make it a little bit taller like that. Okay. Now you'll remember in our previous shot, we had an edge to the road where it went from a green color to brown. So we can replicate that as well. So let's bring in the layer that we created from our last shot so we can copy the color of that gradient. Then take the eyedropper tool and select it. And then we can do away with that. And then coming up here to our layers panel, we'll make a new layer and name this side one. And we can put it now below the road. And then taking the rectangle tool, or you can still use your add point tool, whichever you want to use. We can start right here and go up and go over like this, come down and then back. And then with the shape select tool, we can now adjust the gradient so we can bring this down and flip it around actually. So we have the brown facing the, gra the road. If I render this out, we can see how it looks. I may want to do just a couple more adjustments. There we go, that looks good. And finally, I'll do away with the stroke of this object by simply deselecting the stroke checkbox. So next, let's add a tree into the environment. Now we can draw a tree out. You are welcome to do that if you wish. But there's also a couple of other things you could do. For instance, Anime Studio has many assets um, built right into it that you can grab and import in if you wish. So for instance, if we go to File, Import, Props, Scenery, you'll see that we have several trees here to choose from. So if we click on one, you can see that we have a tree we could bring into the environment. I'm not sure if I really like that one. Let me try a different one. That'll work. So what you can do then is when you import it in, it makes a new layer for you to work with. And you can just simply move this layer to fit um, wherever you want to fit. In this case, we can put it up and resize it and situate it like so. Okay, now finally we can import in some of our other assets like the mountains and the sky and the clouds and just plop them right into the scene. So first I'll go to File, Import, Anime Studio Object, select my first shot and select the first set of mountains. I can bring those down and they should already be set to the distance that you had them in the previous tutorial. You'll remember that we made them more in the distance. We pushed them back into the distance. So there's our first set of mountains and I'll make sure that they're below everything else. Okay, now let's import the second set of mountains. Put those below and I can just come in and resize. and stick them like this. Now, if you render this out, you can see that the blur effect is also still in play for the mountains. 
Now let's import the sky. And if we double click, we should still have the camera movements immune to this. So we are good to go there. And now we can import this clouds. And we can move these clouds around. We can change them up if we wish by just moving some of the points around to make them look a little bit different. Okay, and there we go. Now if we render this out, we can see that the scene is complete. And that's all there really is to it. So to conclude this, as you can tell, it's pretty easy to build new scenes off of existing shots when we have all the assets in place. When it comes to objects like the tree, you can of course make your own. I just imported it in from the Anime Studio Library, just to show you that you do have those options available to you. But by all means, please design your own props and scenery if you think you would like to do that. And finally, by importing all the objects in like I was, I could probably save myself some time by actually putting them in the library, which I've done tutorials on in the past outside of this series from. I just wanted to make it as easy as possible for you guys, so that's why I did it the way I did it. Anyway, make sure you save your project file, because we'll be using this scene fairly soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.